there's a green screen in the STEM lab, and the purpose of a green screen is so that you can film yourselves in front of the screen and then replace the background with something different. So if you're not going to replace the background, then don't film in front of the green screen. You should film in front of a white screen or some other scenery. Okay, but if you want something else to be put into the background, then use the green screen. Here's how you use the green screen in the STEM lab. First, come on over and plug in the lights if it's not plugged in. There's an extension cord on the floor and there's a plug hanging from the ceiling. Once you plug that in, the lights on the ceiling as well as the floor lights will be controlled by this wall switch. Now you have lights coming from different directions. And there should be a tripod also with an iPad holder. You want to put your iPad in that tripod, lock it into place, go into the camera. Make sure you're on video. Okay. You want to adjust the iPad so that you are seeing only green. You can adjust it up or down if you loosen the handle and then it'll cause this to go to be able to move up and down and then tighten the handle again. Okay, now when everything's set up, you can invite your star to go stand in front of the green screen. And then you want to make sure the lights are on you want to make sure you hit record before you tell them action. So you're going to say, this is why in the movies they say lights, camera, action. Lights go on first, then you start the camera rolling, then you say action. Action. Hi, this is a green screen test. <laughs> when you're finished recording, go ahead and remove your iPad from the tripod. And go ahead and turn off the light switch. And if you found the cord unplugged, then go ahead and unplug it. If it was already plugged in, you can leave it plugged in. Okay, you're going to actually create your video on the iMac in the STEM lab instead of on the iPad because you can use the green screen features uh, much easier on the iMac. So you're going to log in to one of the big iMacs. You have to get your green screen video onto the iMac. The easiest way to do that is with AirDrop. And so I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, you're seeing my iPad now appear on the screen. I'm going to make this smaller. I'm going to touch Photos, and I'm going to select the video that I want to send. And then I'm going to touch the Share button in the upper left corner. And it's going to give me the option of sharing it in different ways including airdrop but there's nowhere to airdrop it yet until I go to the computer uh, the finder on the dock and I click on airdrop and that will say that this computer is ready to receive files through Wi-Fi and now that's actually appearing here stem one um, so if I touch that on the iPad it will now tell this computer that uh, this iPad wants to send a photo it's actually a video I'm going to accept and it's going to go into the downloads. So now if I click on downloads, there I will see that. I will see the video landed there. So now I'm done on the iPad. Okay, I'm going to shoot this video using my iPad because I need to show you how to use the screen recording program on the computer and that's the program I use to record the screen cast. Anyway, go to YouTube and pull up the video that you want to put in your background instead of the green screen. So I've filled up this um, weather in the universe. It's kind of uh, it looks pretty interesting. Um, you want to go to the settings in that video and make sure it's high quality, 720 or, or 1080. And then you're going to open QuickTime Player. It's the Q on the dock. That's the screen recording program. Uh, so then you're going to go up to File. You're going to choose not new movie recording because that will use the built-in camera to record you. 
new audio recording will just record audio. New screen recording will record what's on the screen. So that's what I'm going to do. It's going to pull this up. Um, if you want volume from the movie, then you want to raise this. If you don't, then you can keep that at, at zero, and it will record um, you speaking. So I'm going to turn it maybe halfway up. Okay, then when I hit the record button, okay, it says click to record the full screen, drag to record part of the screen. I'm going to do full screen. Okay, so I'm just going to click. Then I'm going to hit full screen here. Okay, then I'm going to hit play. Okay, that was pretty cool. I'm going to I'm going to pause that. I'm going to hit the escape button on the keyboard. That will escape out of full screen. I'm going to go up to the toolbar on the top and I'm going to hit the stop button. That will stop the screen recording. Okay, then I want to save the screen recording. So I want to go to file and I want to choose save and then I want to give that a name. So I'm going to call it space it can save into documents, that's fine, as long as I remember where it's saving. Okay, now I'm ready to combine my green screen video and my background video together. So to do that, I am going to launch iMovie, which is the purple star. And I want to create a new project, so it should start on the Projects tab. Create new project, hit the plus, it's a new movie, not a new trailer. Okay, so down here is where I'm going to be building my project. Uh, there's a big button here that says Import Media. That's what I want to click on. When I hit Import, I have to remember where my two videos went. I'm going to click on the name of the computer, STEM1. Okay, I know one of my videos went to Downloads. That was the one I shared using AirDrop. So I can click on that and it will show me a preview of that. And then I want to import that. And then I want to import another one, so I'm going to have to click the little import button up here. So the other one I'm going to click back on desktop and back on the name of the computer. And the other one I know went to documents, and that was the one I called space. So I'm going to click import, and now it should import the two videos that I need. So now, how do I combine these together? I'm going to drag the background video and drop it. Of course I want to cut the beginning part off. So I'm going to drag from the beginning, I'm going to drag it into when I want, where I want it from, and then the same thing at the end, I'm going to go to the end and I want to drag it in to, let's say, I uh, really only need uh, about f 5 to 10 seconds. All right, I want to drag the green screen video and I want to drop it, not in front of it, not next to it but on top of the background. And I should see a menu right here asking me how I want to combine those two. So I'm going to um, choose green or blue screen. And there we go. I'm going to go back to the beginning. I'm going to hit space bar to play it. Okay, and now I can still see some of the surrounding area. I can see some of, I can see this light right there. So I'm going to go into that video and I'm going to go to the crop button and I do want to change how that is cropped. So I want to move it in like that. Hit the check mark and that's much better now. When I'm finished, there are other features I can add. I can add a title. I'm going to go to the Backgrounds tab, and I'm going to choose one of these interesting background colors. I'm going to drop it here um, to the left of the video I've already created. And then I'm going to go to the Titles tab, and I'm going to drop a title right on top of there. And then I'm going to label that. And I'm going to click the check. I'm done with that. And then I'm going to go back and hit the space bar to play. And
And let's say I, I'm seeing a little of the uh, YouTube interface here. So I, I do want to change that a little bit. So I'm going to select that video and I'm going to use the crop. And I'm, I am going to crop that a little bit more. And then I'm going to play that again. And I see my arrow going by there, so maybe I want a different section of that video. When you're ready to export that, you're going to click the share button in the upper right corner. You have some choices on, about how to export it. Um, you're going to probably want to export it to a file. It's going to tell you how big that file is. 16 megabytes is not that big. It's 10 seconds long. You don't need to add it to the theater because we're not going to save it after you're done with it. Hit next. Give it a name, um, preferably your name. Make sure you know where you're saving it. You can see the circle fill in as it finishes. And then your teacher should tell you how they want you to get this file to them. And that could include AirDrop. If you were going to AirDrop it, you would go into the Finder and you'd pull up the AirDrop screen, but you also would go to File, New Finder Window, because you need to find that file so I'm going to open my laptop, and I'm going to hit AirDrop on my laptop, just like your teacher might do. So I would grab my video, and I drop it on AirDrop. 